It is not too late. Do not believe the propaganda of youth. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage against the dying of the light. It's a poem by Dylan Thomas. And the point of addressing this in this video is a video I made about heartbreak where I addressed the pain of youthful heartbreak and not letting go and deciding that there's something better out there for you. And the comments were flooded with people saying, but what do I do? I feel like I have my best years behind me. So we're gonna talk about it here today because it's perhaps the subject that touches me the most because I refuse to let myself and therefore you, because you are here watching this, so you are my responsibility. If you believe anything I say to be true, then I am responsible for your mind in this moment because you have lent it to me. I cannot let you go into that good night without raging, without getting the juice of, 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 of your entirety out. It is not about what you did or what you didn't do or the things that passed you by. It's about this day today, the day you woke up on, taking yourself and realizing the billion percentile minute reality of you coming into existence. The small percentile reality of you coming into existence. The fact that you probably shouldn't have even been here. The competition that it took for you to arrive the competition it took for all of your ancestors to live through plagues, no medicine, through conditions that pointed to the likelihood of you not even eventuating. And instead of mourning the life that you didn't have, deciding from today, because today is the day that you have gained new wisdom. Today is the day when you have arrived because some people peak when they're teens and some people peak in their 50s and 60s and 70s. So you might be that person. If it's work, if it's love, if it's anything, you have the obligation, the right, the absolute. Basically, I'm not going to let you not achieve what it is you are here to do. And there is no age on that. But I will tell you the fact that you are here is such a small percentage that there must be a reason that you are here. There has to be a reason that you're here. And it's not up to you to judge what age you are going to step in your divinity and what age it's going to all happen for you. And yes, getting older is painful because you, at one hand, have the gratitude of the fact that you are alive, because that is not a favor granted to everyone. Understand that. Aging is a privilege. But on the other hand, you are looking into the reality that you are stepping closer to the end of the movie as opposed to the beginning. And there's something so beautiful and succulent about youth that you can potentially be anything, but you can transfer that same feeling into any point in your life. So when people feed you this nonsense of, it's the worship of youth and it's a propaganda because in the media, what sells best is selling something to youth and teens. And so the idea of youth and teens is propagated in movies and magazines and everything because they are the demographic that is sellable to. I don't have a problem with that. That's fantastic. But you as a person who's now gained some wisdom, and many of us look better as we age because we come into our own. I'm talking men and women here. We cannot believe in the propaganda of youth because that is not the destination. Youth is where we are without realizing the gift of it and it swaps gradually for wisdom. So if you want that career, or if you want that lifestyle, or if you want that mindset, or if you want to do the best you've ever done, now is your opportunity. Because in youth, there's a very small percentage of us who realize the gift that we have, who realize what we're meant to be on this earth for, who realize all that. When I was in my early 20s and teens, I went to an astrologer. This isn't for the debate of whether you believe in astrology or not. This is the mindset that I had at the time. And they said, the best success I'm going to have is in my mid-30s. And at the time, I was like, mid-30s? What? 
like I'm going to grow into the person that I'm meant to be because there is some ascending, I was ascending in Cancer and then the Virgo and the Leo and all this stuff and that is when I'm going to come into my own and I thought in my mid-30s to mid-40s is when I'm going to gain my most powerful entity and before then I'm going to be kind of confused and lost. Let me tell you, when you're looking from that perspective, 30s, 40s, 50s, seems like what we are meant to believe in the propaganda that it's over, but it's not. You cannot go gently at the age of 40 or 50 or 30 into that good night deciding that you're not going to get out of this life what you wanted. Because the eventuality and the reality of medicine is that hopefully you will die in your 80s or 90s. So you're telling me you're going to sit here from the age of 40 and waste perhaps 40 years, that is the same time you've been alive, on deciding that you will gently curl up and give up. Wouldn't you rather die trying? Wouldn't you rather die fighting? Wouldn't you rather inspire those who came after you? Isn't that the objective? Because it's not up to you to decide when you're done. It's up to the divine forces to decide when you're done. So don't be done before you're done. And if you've made mistakes, that is even more reason to not be done. That is even more reason to, to, to gain ferocity and to create what you wanted. Now for me, the energy that I used to use was masculine energy. And if you're a man, you should step into your masculine energy and drive to get what you wanted to the absolute cutting off of other pursuits. You need to decide what it is. To decide is to cut away in Latin, to make that incision and cutting away of everything else. You need to decide. That is your objective and your prerogative. You need to decide. And if you're a woman and you resonate with your feminine energy, then you need to flow into who you naturally are. I didn't gain success or clarity in who I am before I stepped into my feminine energy. And by that, I mean I embraced the idea of being as opposed to doing. When I started being and chasing as opposed to doing everything and trying to appeal to everybody, I became powerful in my feminine. It didn't matter who liked me or not because I had boundaries, self-esteem, a reality of who I am. I had nothing to prove to anybody. I create what I want to create. And if you want to enter that space and observe it and see who I am, then you are more than welcome. And the energy in a woman, when she's in her feminine energy, is like life force itself. If you don't know what I mean by that, my course 20 Feminine Energy Principles, I don't like to talk about things that I do. I just want to create a message, but to address all the comments of how do you step into your feminine energy, that would be the place. Moving on. For men, it's about moving forward at the absolute decision of what you're going to do, despite anything else. Because what have you got to lose? You might be watching this and say, oh, I can't do this, I don't know what to do. Try. Try for one year to disregard what you've been taught, that life is over at 40 or 50. And I know some of you are 25 watching this and you haven't built the business you want and you haven't got married and had kids and you're already giving up. You've already given up and I cannot even, you need to leave. You need to leave the classroom. You need to leave because the audacity you have to give up before the bell has been called, you need to go down having tried everything you wanted in life. That is your obligation. That is your right to do that. Because no matter what you believe, whether you're a Christian or a Muslim, or you're a Buddhist and you believe that you will reincarnate, you will never be you again on this earth, doing what you were doing, knowing the people you know. And I know that there's a part of you, I know that there's a part of you, do not lie to me, that understands your divinity, that understands that this is it. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is it that wants to be you, no matter how many times you might have loathed yourself, no matter how many times you might have wished you were somebody else or looked like somebody else, there is a part of you 
that knows that you are here for a reason and there's a divine purpose. And even when it knocks you off and even when you're not achieving it and even when people reject you, there's a divine knowing in the center of you, understanding that you cannot give up. Your whole life is ahead of you. In midlife, 40, it's ahead of you. You've gained your wisdom. Make your choices about what you want to do. Disregard everything else. If you don't believe it, it doesn't exist. If I don't believe it in my reality, it doesn't exist. What do you mean you're too old? What do you mean you're too young? It's not a reality. It's a conditioning. Why are you following someone else's conditioning? Of what benefit is it to you? Your job is to condition yourself in the way that it favors you. If you are young, you need to say youth is on my side. I am creative. I am young. There is nobody like me here. I am not too young. I'm going to walk in here and give my creative young ideas. If you are older, you need to propaganda your own brain to understand I've got wisdom. I look better than I've ever looked. When people look at me, they see power. If you're a mother and you tell me, oh, how do I find a new partner? I'm a mother. You need to put power behind that. You don't need to tell people that. It's your beliefs that, and they will resonate across what you do. It's like literally like a force field that will make people believe what it is you believe. Trust me. If you believe it enough, everyone else will believe it. So if you're a mother and you're dating or you're trying to start a business and you say, oh, I've got no time to start a business or I've got no this or that or men won't want me because I've got children, that's what they will believe. But if you come at it like I've now got a protective force field because I protect my children and I'm not going to let just some random men into my life, I'm going to let the best man into my life. And you walk with that with your head up because I know that would be me. I have a child. So if someone was going to walk into my life and I'm married, and that is so great because raising a child with someone is amazing. And so I feel for you, if that was not your course in life, I come from a single mother. It's not easy and I understand you. But move forward from a powerful position because it's your only choice. It's your only choice, baby. There's no other choice. It needs to give you power. So when I see you right in my DMs, oh, but men won't want me because I've got children, stop. No. You are now a queen with little cubs to protect. And the men that won't want you are men you don't want. Because your reality is what you create. Your reality is what you create. You have the privilege to do that. So walk with your head high. And if you've made a lot of mistakes when you were younger, you cohabited with people who weren't sure about you and if you're a man you married a woman who used you from today from this point forward that's lessons and you wouldn't know them if you didn't live through that so now you're more powerful now you are a 2.0 version of you you're not Pikachu you're Raichu or whoever he involves to your version 2.0 is how I live my life I always upgrade 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 we don't age we evolve we are evolving. Make the decision. Who is it you want to be? And at the exclusion of everything else, walk through life with that reality. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for giving this video a like if you've done those things. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Love you lots. Bye.